Now here's a Telecaster that'll catch your eye. A lot different from what you normally see. It's an American Telecaster. We're going to go on a journey with this beautiful, beautiful guitar today right here on Geargasms. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, we're going to have a glorious unboxing of this Fender American Special Telecaster limited edition shell pink. Through the magic of the internet and television, we're gonna travel back in time. We're gonna unbox this thing. We're gonna take it through a whole bunch of playing styles and explore all of its possibilities. But first, the data. Starting off the standard gorgeous American Special Telecaster, three barrel brass bridge, Texas Special pickups, the standard control layout, one volume, one tone, three way switch, just a beautiful shell pink. The neck fretwork is absolutely perfect on this piece. Medium jumbos, hand rolled edges, the nut is cut perfectly. Beautiful classic Fender black ink. Telecaster logo on the headstock. Gorgeous. An ass shot string through the body. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Killer grain on the neck, just as smooth as your girlfriend's legs right after she shaves them. Or your boyfriend's. We ain't judging. Fender tuners. Absolutely delicious. All right, kids, it's an unboxing. I know how you millennials love the unboxings. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for you, but we'll begin the unboxing with this here, professional box opener. Stop, don't do this, don't do that, it's fragile. Do not crush, because you know those guys that ship boxes, if you don't have that sticker on there, they're gonna go out of their way to crush it. Super high quality tape. Stressing this old man out, trying to open this god diggity box. Had to get the skizzers out. Because this box cutter was just not up to the task of cutting through three or four layers of tape that they got on the corners. It's not that I don't appreciate it. I do. Old man injures himself opening box. Trying to get YouTube hits. Some would say that that is poetic justice. Protection. Hang tags. Oh yeah, more protection for the neck. This says Chicago Music Exchange on it. That's something I've never seen before. Sweetwater doesn't do that. I like that, that's a nice touch. Oh my Lord Jesus. Look at this beautiful beast. I'm gonna throw this aside for now. We got rid of the protection. I'd been looking for a guitar like this for many, many years. It's hard to get a Telecaster and shell pink. And when you do see one, it often has a rosewood fingerboard. That's not what I wanted. Luckily, through the magic of Google and doing a little bit of searching, I happened to find that Chicago Music Exchange had a special limited edition run of these that they were still holding on to, even though this model had been discontinued. I jumped on it as fast as I could. It, it's really super hard to find one of these with a maple fingerboard. And like most American special guitars, strats, and tellies, it's got the Texas special pickups. I knew I would love those. I've got them in an American special strat. I knew I would love the neck and the fret, the rounded edges, the smooth, glossy back, just to die for. If you've seen this channel before, you know I like to take a guitar and play something completely ridiculous with it. And today's no different, to wit. <laughs>
Oh, before I forget, it's t-shirt shout out time, but it's Steel Panther. If you don't know who Steel Panther is, they're an amazing 80s parody band, hair metal. They write their own songs. They're glorious musicians. Their lyrics are absolutely filthy and have drug references and misogyny. They totally, totally have a hilarious take on the whole hair metal genre. The Orgasm's number of the week, zero. As in, you saw zero hair metal players playing a standard Fender Telecaster with two single coil pickups in the 80s. And because zero heavy metal guitar players used these back in the hair band era, there's a 0% chance that you ever saw somebody in a White Snake video do this. I'm looking at you, Rudy Sarzo. Now here's the same song, maybe with a, a little bit more of an appropriate telly sound. to strats and tellies I'm partial to those old 50s colors and often they were based on if not exactly the same paint that they used in the automotive industry at that time you'll see like Daphne blue you'll see this you'll see a couple other colors they actually use sometimes the same paint that they used in Detroit to paint the cars GM and Ford absolutely delicious of course this being a telly the Texas Special pickups. Most of the time you hear about those pickups in a Strat and not a Tele, but they're just as gorgeous in this. I'll do some mindless noodling. That way I don't step on anybody's copyright claims and give you a listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> Just beautiful. Who doesn't love the middle position on a telly? Oh my gosh. Even for single lines. <laughs> want to get spanky you can do the bridge position and get all your redneck country licks in on this bad boy too like this one
My daddy married his cousin, but it didn't affect me none. And lastly, the neck pickup. There's a lot of people that don't like the standard Tele neck pickup. And I'm not really sure what they're talking about because there's almost as many different kinds of pickup models that they put in the neck for there are variations of Tele's. So I don't know if they just don't like the position of it. Some guys want a humbucker in there. Some guys want the P90s. This is, of course, is a Texas special. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> that middle position gives you all the flexibility you need just to almost sound acoustic just a nice clean amp sound and then this <laughs> kids what did we learn today we learned that I was able to get my hands on one of the very last American special telecasters in a super super limited color as you heard it can do a great many things it's a very very versatile guitar just as it is you ain't got to change nothing we also learned that girly men and hair metal bands in the 80s often tried to flate the neck of their guitar not really sure how that became a cool thing, but I'm not judging. We also learned that Texas Special pickups, you can fuzz them up and rock out and they'll keep up with the load, but man oh man, aren't they pretty when they're clean? Nobody ever talks about how beautiful the Texas Specials are when they're clean. As always, hit the like and subscribe button. We'll keep coming back week after week with more fun stuff. We'll try and keep it informative. We'll do some playing. We'll make fun of ourselves. We'll make fun of other people. We'll try and get a few laughs. And I hope you continue to join us week after week right here on GearCasms.